Welcome back to my garage. We have the finished cylinder in our hands here and uh, that's because I forgot to record an intro. So this is the intro. Enjoy. <laughs> My hole isn't uh, big enough for uh, for a 52 millimeter, 56 I think millimeter bore. So um, this will have to do. I think it'll do. From earlier experience with the same kind of milling and uh, press fits and stuff, I think we'll be fine. We'll see. We'll see. So a little bit of lube just for uh, to make things easier. Less grabby. And then align the little notch I made here as good as I can with the center point of the cylinder. So the center point of that hole. I'm in the way of the camera, sorry, but uh, give me a second here. As centered as uh, I can get it now. It might end up exploding the cylinder now. I've, uh, I've stored some stuff up here. <laughs> it seems to be going in smoothly. And it's nice and centered. We're not pressing with more than uh, around two, well, two, two, two tons. I think I'll uh, take my chances of uh, heating it up a little bit because uh, it's starting to like upwards of five tons now. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> Success, the ports line up and uh, and uh, the islands, the whole islands didn't interfere with the pockets or anything. Everything is uh, in its correct position. A slight little uh, thing here, the, both the skirts broke off and uh, I think the reason, well, the press, fit was, uh, the press fit was fairly tight, but also I think these were bored, like milled to a smaller diameter because they're thin and probably was deflecting while milling and uh, I've had that happen before, so uh, the, the bore was probably the bore got noticeably tighter when we got down to this section So that's probably why they uh, broke off, but it doesn't matter because because uh, the liner is so thick So there's no need for this the support from this and uh, and they're not really needed to align the cylinder onto the the case either so no, no problem, I'll just uh, break them off and the grind to grind to make them smooth Success! Success! 
we'll have to cut off this portion and uh, do some uh, blending and stuff and uh, and then face the top and then we're ready to uh, end and hone the cylinder and then we're ready. is currently sitting at 39.3 millimeters which means there's lots of material to hone away so it might be that honing is too slow and uh, we'll have to bore it out a little bit but the surface finish is kind of rough so it might like when we get past when the when the surface has become smooth it might be that it's actually much uh, larger than well, relatively larger than what it's uh, measuring at the moment let's let's hone it a little bit and see see how far we we get an estimate uh, and then get a time estimate for a final final size Another 0.05 millimeters. So a uh, couple of hours and uh, we should be done. It's still not perfectly cleaned up either. There's still some areas here with uh, a rougher surface finish. So, but it's getting rounder. I can feel it's getting rounder and uh, easier to, to hone. So I'll just keep on keeping on and bring you back when it's done. I actually went much faster than expected. 39.5 now. So 0.5 millimeters to go. 39.996 or so. That's 40. Getting the same reading down here. Maybe like half a micron larger. At the top of the cylinder so uh, definitely within spec let's check the, the roundness see how it is in this direction well, exactly the same reading so it's perfectly round here up at the top but perfectly round exactly the same reading in this direction so uh, perfect Perfect.
done. We'll need to deburr the edges of the of the exhaust port and stuff, but uh, next time we'll mount it onto the the engine case and uh, start up again. See you next time.